So the next the next speaker is a pleasure to introduce for me to me to introduce Mark Mark Jimenez uh, from the is our second speaker and he is from the hospital clinic in Barcelona. He is a anesthesiologist in cardiovascular and thoracic anesthesia and also is a deputy co-editor in chief of the ISA EIC newsletter. He will talk about the needs monitoring during vascular surgery. And before intro, uh, let pass to Mark, just a reminder, please be sure to type your questions into the question box in Ask the Faculty. Thank you for attending us, Mark, and welcome. Thank you for uh, Dr. Matute's uh, um, kind words of introduction to EACTI uh, organization for setting up this very interesting organ um, educational um, meeting to try to discuss different options for monitoring our patients um, undergoing vascular um, surgery. So uh, my part is a bit uh, about NEARS monitoring during vascular surgery. It's always a big challenge to have the talk after um, Max Meniers because he's an excellent um, speaker. So um, please um, forgive me if I make any, any mistake. I don't have any, any conflict of interest to declare regarding this, this um, lecture. So uh, what we would like to do with this lecture is to try to expand a bit um, the usage of um, uh, NIRS to try to understand how our tissues, our regional oxygenation is doing during, during the vascular um, surgery. I've always think that uh, the uh, NIRS monitoring is a bit of a misty area that we don't really know which patients can benefit from it. And we really don't know which values should we aim for or we should start triggering. So we, we hope to, to um, bring this uh, blurred picture a bit more clear to the end of the um, lecture. So that's how I have planned the, the presentation, a bit of background of how the vascular patients will look like when we see them in theater, which are the physical principles and behind this, this monitoring, a bit of um, supporting evidence behind, behind this monitoring, which are the classical and non-classical indications for using um, NIRS in our daily practice and how um, I see the future and, and how uh, the future will would, would, would have to, to be seen. So, uh, vascular patients are the most uh, the sickest patients in in our in our probably in our hospital. Most of them have hypertension, diabetes. They've have they've been smoking, or and some of them they come to our theater with um, with the smoking habitus and being active. Some of them have um, um, AF. Um, they will be anticoagulated, some of them, some degree of, of renal impairment. Some of them will have will be on on chronic dialysis. Obviously, patients that um, will come uh, to us for carotid endarterectomy, they will have diagnosed um, um, carotid artery disease, but most of the patients, they will have disease in all the arteries, so they will also have disease and in our um, carotid artery disease, and we, don't, we will not uh, know beforehand. So um, we will try to um, minimize the risk of, of stroke in these patients. Uh, patients, our patients as well have risk of spinal cord um, due to the procedure or also due to the um, type of patient that we have. If a patient is undergoing an, an open um, um, abdominal aortic aneurysm, risk of, of paraplegia, risk of spinal cord ischemia. If we are doing a TVAR, uh, a very lengthy um, cover or of our aorta, we will also have a um, risk of ischemia. So these are important things to bear in mind when we are treating uh, um, these um, patients. So boring part about physical principles. So uh, we need to know few things about how this monitoring works. So near stands for near infrared um, spectroscopy. And what it means is that um, this is the typical image here in the right side, the blue part, we have a part that is emitting the um, light. And we have another part that is going to receive the um, light after penetrating the tissues. So we are going to try to measure the um, oxygenation in this only in this area, and we need to uh, 
a remind that the light we will all will only penetrate two three centimeters so we will only be able to um, gather information in this closed area that we will um, and put our um, sensors so